strange collection. Maybe the streets will be full of bomb-shaped shoulders before the winter's out. The most attractive item to mark the revival of the National Sporting Club is the bout between Jimmy Walsh of Chester, Holder, and Harry Misler of London, Challenger, for the lightweight championship of Great Britain. Following the National Sporting Club tradition, the match is refereed from outside the ring. Mr. Douglas calling the men to the ringside whenever a word is necessary, and this is seldom. Misler, a former title holder, wears the Union Jack and the Shield of David on his trunks. Both men appear to be in fine fettle and are fighting at almost identical weights. The champion is doing all the attacking, driving Misler round the ring and forcing him to fight on the retreat. Walsh makes great use of his left, and in a match devoid of spectacular incident, steadily piles up the points making Misler's comeback a virtual impossibility unless he succeeds in landing a knockout at the 11th hour. The standard of boxing and a thoroughly sporting display by both men holds the interest of the large crowd right up to the end. At the end of the 15th round, Jimmy Walsh is declared the winner on points. So a worthy champion retains his title. Out for the cross-channel canoe record, Eric Finden of London and